hello students uh, today we'll uh, study about uh, the estimation of lean to roof uh, lean to roof you know that it lean it leans from one side and uh, we are studying about estimation of lean to roof uh, using mangalore tiles and uh, wooden supports so let us continue uh, with the problem so students you can see here uh, as i told you uh, since uh, the space on the board is uh, very limited uh, so uh, to uh, to explain you the concept i would like to take uh, uh, small problems uh, for the explanation on the board Uh, this is a single room again uh, which uh, the room measures 4 by 6 meter uh, this room has a flat roof and there is a uh, open veranda in the front you have an open veranda in the front which has the lean to roof which has lean to roof uh, which leans from this wall down lean to i'll show you the section lean to roof which consists of wooden supports you can see these are the rafters Uh, these are the rafters main rafters they measure around 7.5 cm by 10 cm uh, and they are on the uh, main axis they are on the shorter side you have and you have these are the purlins or the battens which are on the along the length these are along the breadth that is these are along the shorter distance these are along the length so uh, these rafters are wooden uh, rafters of the cross section uh, the cross section of the rafter will be this way so as i said they measure around 7.5 cm by 10 cm their dimension is 7.5 by 10 cm whereas these are the purlins or the battens they are of the smaller dimensions uh, of the 2.5 by 5 they are only of 2.5 cm by 5 cm these are along the length these are along the breadth and you have the mangalore tiles which are placed over these wooden supports so uh, to explain you there is a main uh, beam here uh, where these rafters rest these rafters are resting on this main beam and these rafters go beyond so there is a projection of 0.45 meter that is 45 cm beyond the rafter that acts as a eaves so you have to you should try to understand this problem uh, single room uh, we are talking mainly concentrating on the lean to roof here so lean to roof uh, is covering uh, this open veranda it is covering open veranda lean to roof consists of mangalore tiles supported on the wooden supports so uh this veranda is 2.4 meter wide veranda breadth is 2.4 meter wide beyond the veranda the roof is projecting uh, 45 cm that is a, there is a eaves which is 45 cm and uh, the main rafters are these your, your rafters are these which are resting on this main beam rafter which runs along the length and it is supported on the two wooden poles okay and you have the uh, battens here which are along the length i'll show you the section how is the section hope you have understood the plan so i'll just show you the section as i said the room measures 4 by 6 uh, your section is like this okay
you have the so this is the parapet you have okay so this is your brickwork what you have so i'll just cut wherever you have the door this is a section you have a window here and you have a lintel sorry so this we are taking the veranda 2.5 meter veranda is 2.5 2.4 meter i'm sorry it is 2.4 okay so this is supporting the wall you have your ground level is here okay and what we are doing is lean to roof is so this is the lean to roof okay so uh, you have a you have a wooden pole here and you have the these are the mangalur tiles these are mangalur tiles okay and this is the rafter what you have which is 7.5 by 10 okay so on these rafters you have the purlins there are purlins which run along the length okay and you have a rafter beam here this is beam rafter you can call which is 10 by 10 centimeter okay and even this uh, wooden pole is wooden pole which is also 10 by 10 okay and this is the projection which is 0.45 the u projection is 0.45 so you can uh, see this is the roof uh, what you have over the veranda so uh, you can understand here uh, here it is 3 meter okay here also it is 3 okay and here it is 2.1 okay this is 2.4 width of the veranda is 2.4 uh, and height of the flat slab uh, excluding the slab is 3 meter and your lean to roof uh, here it is ending at 2.1 meter and it is going beyond the this one veranda and it is projecting for 45 centimeter that is the eaves portion so that the water uh, for the rain water drainage hope you have understood this so we will continue with the problem I will just rub this off. We will start with the wooden work. Uh, we will start with the problem directly. So I'll just make the column. Uh, so estimate of uh, estimate of quantities. Okay. So I'll make the column directly. This is item of work. So you have number, length, breadth, depth, quantity 
and remark okay this is the what you are the first one i'll start with woodwork in the roof you are supposed to calculate for woodwork in roof Uh, our main intention is to calculate the volume of woodwork which is used in the roof. As I said in the lean to roof, you have two members uh, are there as a support members. One is rafters which are along the shorter length or the uh, shorter span and you have the batons which are running all along the length. Okay. So, uh, you have to first calculate what are the number of rafters. You have to calculate how many number of rafters are there? How many numbers of rafters are there? So, in the sketch, uh, I mentioned the rafters measure, the main rafters which are along the shorter span, they measure 7.5 centimeter by 10 centimeter. They are at a distance of 0.6 meter center to center. They are located at a distance of 0.6 meter center to center. Your main uh, length of the span is 6.46. Length of the span, uh, how it is 6.46 is? Your uh, room dimension measures 6 meter, 23 centimeter both the sides, that becomes 6.46 meter divided by your uh, center to center the spacing of the uh, rafters divided by 0.6 plus 1. That comes around. Your uh, number of rafters is equal to 10.76, 6.46 .6 .6 6 by 0.6 is 10.76 uh, plus 1. So, I will take 12 numbers. So, in case of uh, your, when you are calculating for the woodwork in the lean to roof, uh, how many members of rafters are there you have to calculate uh, based on the spacing of the rafters rafters are placed your uh, roof is like this so your rafters are placed like this which are at a distance of 0.6 meter center to center they are at a distance of 0.6 meter center to center and this distance is 6.46 so 6.46 divided by 0.6 plus 1 will give you the total number of raptors that is 12 numbers of raptors ok so number of raptors is 12 what is the length of the raptor what is the length of the raptor so you take the how, how do you calculate the length so you have to take it like this Okay, so your uh, 3 meter the slope is starting 3 meter and it is ending at 2.1 meter and use projection is 0.45, use projection is 0.45, here this is your 3 meter, this is your 2.1, so this is 0.9. And you do not do know this distance, we know the 45 centimeter eaves projection is there. So, and your uh, dimension of the uh, veranda is 2.4, okay. So, you have to calculate how much is your inclined length of the rafter. So, why do we want the inclined length of the rafter? As I am telling you, we want to calculate the woodwork which is present in the rafter, the volume of the woodwork present in the rafter. We do not know what is the dimension of that. So, to calculate the dimension of that, we need the horizontal distance and we need the vertical distance. So, here again the method is same, you have to calculate by the same method here. How do you calculate? So, again uh, I have explained you 0 0.9, this is x, 0 0.9 divided by uh, 0.9 is to x is equal to your 2.4 is to 0.45, okay. So, that will be equal to 0.9 divided by x is equal to 
2.45 sorry 2.4 divided by 0.45 so you can just uh, change the position in the numerator and denominator it will be 2.4x uh, is equal to 0.9 into 0.45 okay so x is equal to okay so x is equal to how much so that comes around 0 0.16 meter that comes around 0.16 meter you have to understand uh, this is a lean to roof uh, here it is 3 meter where the slope is starting it is ending at 2.1 meter it is ending at 2.1 meter and again it is projecting beyond uh, that is the ease the horizontal distance we know that is 0.45 we we know the veranda it is 2.4 meter we do not know how uh, the this distance when the ease is projecting by 0.45 horizontally how much is this vertical distance so what we do is 0.9 divided by x 2.4 divided we have done it already so x is equal to 0.16 so by this uh, what we can do is i'll just so we can apply the pythagoras theorem to get the inclined length of the rafter here to get the inclined length of the rafter So, how much it will be? Point, point 0.16 we have got x. So, vertical height is vertical height is equal to 0.9 plus 0.16 that will be equal to 1.06. Okay, It is equal to 1.06. So, I will apply the Pythagoras theorem that is 2.4 plus 0 0.45 2.85 square plus 1.06 square. So, we have a hypotenuse that is the inclined length of the rafter is equal to root of 2.45 square plus 1 point, I will write it down, 1 that is root of 2.45 square plus 1.06 square that is equal to the distance is uh, coming around 3.03 .03. sorry it is coming around 3.03 .03 meter so we are taking this distance we are taking this distance we are finding this distance by the pythagoras theorem that is root of this square plus this square that is coming around 3.03 .03 meter so, we got the length of the rafter as 3.03 .03 meter. So, now we can just calculate the woodwork in the roof. So, I will just rub it out. So, woodwork in roof. So, first we are taking the rafter. We will take the rafter. As we have calculated, they are 12 in number. Their length is your 3.03 .03 meter. So, dimension is 7.5 centimeter by 10 centimeter, that is 0 0.075 by 0 0.10. So, that will be equal to 0.27. 0.27 cubic meter your rafters that is they are on the shorter span rafters 12 in number uh, at a distance of 0.6 meter center to center they are of the length 3.03 .03 meter and they are of the cross section 7.5 centimeter by 10 centimeter that is equal to 0.27 cubic meter so uh, after the rafters uh, we are not going to calculate for the battens because we are applying the rate of Manglu tiles along with the battens. When we are uh, preparing the abstract of the estimated quantities, what we do is 
we apply the rate of mangalore tiles along with the battens so battens since they are of a smaller cross section we don't calculate the woodwork in the rafters woodwork in the battens we calculate only for the rafters so you take the main rafter beam there is a rafter beam at the end you take the rafter beam so it is one in number rafter beam is one in number length is 6.46 its cross section is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter its cross section is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter so that is equal to 0 0.0646 cubic meter it is 0.0646 cubic meter so next we will take the poles we have the poles here two poles wooden poles which are supporting the rafter at the end so we have the two poles so i'll take the poles which are two in number they are of the height how much is the height at the end is 2.1 meter uh, the height out of that you have i'll just show you 2.1 you have a beam rafter which is 10 centimeter so this becomes 2 meter so two poles 2 meter dimension is again 0 0.10 by 0 0.10 this is equal to 0 0.04 cubic meter 0 0.04 cubic meter so total you have to calculate total woodwork in the roof is equal to 0.3746 it is 0.3746 cubic meter hope you have understood the wooden members are main rafters along the shorter span the rafter beam which is at the edge along the length and you have the poles which are supporting the rafter beam at the end so we have to calculate its we are putting its number length and its cross section to calculate the quantity of woodwork so this is woodwork in the roof hope, hope you have understood so just uh, lastly we'll just calculate the roofing area So, um, how much is the roofing area? We, we calculated for the woodwork, the woodwork came around the 0.3746 cubic meter. Now, we want the area of the roofing, that is all, area of the roofing. What is the area of the roofing? The sketch, what is area of roofing is, uh, you have the lean to roof. like this okay so we have calculated the incline length as 3.03 .03 meter we have calculated the le incline length as 3.03 .03 meter we know that this is 6.46 so how much will be area of this so roofing area when i write roofing area in square meter so one it is only one so it is 6.46 into 3.03 .03. the quantity is 19.57 the quantity is 19.57 square meter hope this is clear to you uh, we calculated for the uh, woodwork in the roof then uh, then we have to calculate the area of the roofing area of the roofing uh, mainly indicates for how much area you are uh, putting the roof mangalore tiles
So, uh, we calculated the inclined length, we have to know the inclined length to calculate the roofing area, we have uh, done before. So, 3.03 .03 we have calculated inclined length of the rafter and 6.46 .46 as the uh, length, overall length of the roof. So, 6.46 .46 by 3.03 .03 is 19.57 square meter. This is the way you are supposed to calculate the quantity of woodwork in the roof. Okay. Uh, so, we will continue uh, further with the problem in the next uh, video. So, we will stop at this.